Hey there, Wildcats, and welcome back to another edition of Your Daily Dose. I'm Lauren Stapp. And I'm Katie Meredith. Today is Tuesday, November 30th, and Your Daily Dose starts now. With finals just around the corner, many UA students are searching for the perfect place to study. But make sure you cross the UA College of Law Library off your list. The Law Library is asking undergraduate students to leave since the library has become too popular since it was remodeled. The Law Library's primary purpose is to serve law students, faculty, and staff. However, the law faculty say that undergraduate students are allowed to study in the lounge and law classrooms. The UA College of Medicine Library holds the same restrictive policies for all undergraduate students. That's kind of unfortunate. At the College of Letters, Arts, and Sciences, like their main library, they welcome all walks of life. They're just a very welcoming group there. Yes, they are. <laughs> I'm part of that community. Only three days after Thanksgiving, Mount Lemmon had its first snowfall of the season, receiving nearly two inches of snow. The snowfall came as a surprise for some of the Summer Haven residents who say that snow normally begins to fall at the end of December. Although the snow is expected to melt later this week, officials are requiring chains on tires or a vehicle with a 4x4 capability. Ski Valley will need much more snow before it opens to the public. Now let's pop in with Kylie Staples for a look at this week in sports. Hey Wildcats! University of Arizona volleyball players Tiffany Owens, Kirstie Jackson, Paige Weber, and Candace Nicholson were commended for their outstanding seasons by being named to all Pac-10 teams. Owens, named to all Pac-10 list, led Arizona in kills and digs on the season and became just the second player in the program history to notch over 400 in each category, joining Tara Lochner in 1988. Jackson and Weber were both included on the all Pac-10 honorable mentions list. The Wildcats will face Northwestern on Friday, December 3rd at 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time in the first round of the NCAA Tournament in Cedar Falls, Iowa. Arizona earned its 14th trip to the postseason under head coach Dave Rubio. This weekend, as everyone knows, was a first half thriller for Arizona football against Oregon on Friday night. Oregon took the second half by storm and defeated the Wildcats 48-29. Last season, Arizona fans readied to rush the field, but Oregon scored with six seconds left, sending the game into overtime. The Ducks went to win it 44-41 in double overtime, spoiling Arizona's chance for its first Rose Bowl bid. Also this weekend, the University of Arizona Wildcats women's basketball team dropped its first contest of the 2010-2011 season with an 87-78 loss to the number 8 Texas A&M Aggies on Friday at the Cancun Thanksgiving Classic. The Wildcats fall 4-1 as the Aggies advance to 4-0. Let's cheer on the Wildcats on their next matchup this Saturday at 6.15 p.m. Central Standard Time against Bradley. Don't forget, Wildcats, this Thursday is the ASU versus U of A Territorial Cup game. Wear red and beat the Sun Devils. Well, that's all for today. I'm Kylie Staples, and I'll see you next time. Hey Wildcats and welcome back from the break. Hate speech vandalism has been found in the UA library according to officials. More than 50 books were found to have hate speech about religion, sexual orientation and race written in them during a routine inventory check on November 17th. Some of the books had writing on five pages, other had hate speech in more than 100 pages. Library staff estimated the damage at $8,745 based on the $165 fee they charge when people return a damaged book. Now let's check in with Chelsea Rarick for a look at our entertainment news. Hey there Wildcats, Chelsea Rarick here with all your entertainment news. Pretty Lights will be performing this evening at the Rialto on Conquer Street. They have been performing to sold out crowds around the country so here is your chance to see them. The concert is for all ages and you can get your tickets at the door for $26. The concert starts at 9 p.m. but you may want to try to get there early if you're trying to buy your tickets at the venue. The Holiday Open House and Art Show is happening this Saturday starting at 10 p.m. at the Chris Mack Art and Cultural Marketplace. You can have the chance to meet local artists and the annual open house will start with a reception. The portion of the proceeds made will be donated to the Tucson Community Food Bank. 
Also this weekend, the classical Nutcracker Ballet is now showing. The classical and traditional story comes to life as the Ballet Continental celebrates their 25th season. The cost is $15 in advance and an additional $2 at the door. That's all the entertainment news I have for you tonight, Wildcats. I'm Chelsea Rick, and have a great evening. Hey, we're Metalhead, and you're watching UATV. Honors College has 629 fewer students this year than last year, and they have implemented a $500 yearly fee, which prompted some students to leave. While some students feel the advantages of being in honors are worth the money, others feel that it was too steep to pay, adding the Honors College was very vague about where the money was going. 43% of the new fee will go, to the new, will go to new honors classes following advising, student support, and programs and activities. Well, it's about that time for your weekly weather report, so let's stop in with Danielle Gordon a look to see a look at your week's forecast. Good evening, Tucson. I'm Danielle Gordon with your weather forecast. Put away those hat and gloves because we could see temperatures start to rise this week. Today we had a sunny day with a high of 60 degrees, and tonight we can expect a low of 38 degrees. Tomorrow will be another beautiful sunny day with a warmer daytime high of 73. Tomorrow's overnight low will be an expected 42 degrees. Coming to our game day on Thursday, we'll have a partly cloudy day with a daytime high of 78. Make sure to stay nice and bundled at the game with an overnight low of 47 degrees. Entering the weekend, Friday you can expect another partly cloudy day with a daytime high of 78. Friday's overnight low of 47 will get you started on your weekend plans. And coming to Saturday, we'll have another partly cloudy day with a daytime high of 77. Saturday's overnight low of 50 will keep you going on your weekend plans. Well, that's all I have for you tonight. This is Danielle Gordon, and I'll see you tomorrow, Tucson. Hi, it's David Hasselhoff, The Hoff. Get Hoff with UATV. Stay tuned. Don't change the dial. <laughs> well, that just about wraps up another edition of Your Daily Dose. I'm Lauren Stapp. And I'm Katie Meredith. From all of us here at the UATV studios, have a great evening, Wildcats.